What's up, guys? Welcome to Roleplay Solemn. We're here at uh, week number three, and it's kind of a special episode because did you guys know, Neil, you might have known this, but yesterday John. was the 40th anniversary of D&D. Oh. I did not know that. <clears throat> it went on, uh, I think it was, I don't know the date, whatever the date was, 40 years ago, <laughs> on the 25th of January. I think that was the first published date of D&D. So, pretty cool. We should have done the show yesterday, but I didn't think about it. So, D and D was created in seventy four. I think that's right. Yeah, first publication, shit, something like man. that. Yeah. Damn. And it actually was Gygax who just invited a bunch of his friends over, and they're like, "Look, we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you some shit, and then you're gonna tell me what you want to do about it." That's how mm -hmm. it started. I actually did like wow. research on it, uh, or read about it. it. Wasn't research, but. Pretty cool. It's been around for that long, and uh, we're still playing it today. So, Ryan, what have you been up to, man? I've been playing a lot of DayZ. Yeah, how you like the new patch? I I think it's a positive change. I like the new patch a lot. Um, and I've been uh, ranking up in League of Legends as well. Did you hit diamond yet? No, I got placed into gold one, and so yeah. I I've, I've been um, I haven't played a whole bunch. But I've been skipping, um, so I've gone from like plat five to plat three. So I'm skipping divisions. So I'll I'll be there soon. Okay. Cool. So what division yeah. are you in then? You're you're plat Pla three. Plat three at the moment. Yeah. Do you believe people that say they're in the wrong league because of people being bad? Um. Like someone at, in bronze, for example. At the beginning of the season, yes. But at the end of the season, it's your own fault. All right, so you think bronzers are real bronzers. Like, if you try for the whole season, and at the end of the season you get bronze, it's because you deserve bronze. <laughs> I see. I'll tell that to all my coworkers. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you don't even deserve to be silver, and we're in bronze. It's like, <laughs> well, get out of bronze. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, have you ever played the better MOBA called Dota 2? Um, <laughs> this was, is that the sequel to League of Legends? Is that how it I think that's how it works. I'm not too sure. I'll, yeah. I'll have to do some research about that I, as well. I actually played a shitload of Dota 1 back in the day. Um, like, I played a ton of that. And then when Dota 2 came out, I don't know why I just didn't play it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I do like Dota too. We got me hooked on that two or three days ago, and I've been playing a lot for some stupid reason. Dota 2? Yeah. I thought you, uh, was that the game that you raged at? I mean, um, I rage at all games, Jeff. Let's, that's true. Let's be Sorry. honest here. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, did, also, you might have more information on this, Jeff, but how, Greg has 1,400 hours logged in Dota 2. Oh, yeah. He loves it. He genuinely loves it. So That's, it, that's like what? I forgot. I, the math was like 180 hours or some shit. Or 180 days. Sorry. Worth of when Greg's of not, like, if everyone watching, just think about this for a second. When Greg's stream is not on StarCraft 2 right now, is he, is he what the me? fuck do you think that kid's doing? Is he writing oh. a book? Is he working at the local <laughs> deli? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing games, and he only has two games that he enjoys. Uh, he'd never admit to StarCraft 2, which he may legitimately not enjoy, but yeah. uh, he certainly <laughs> enjoys Dota 2, and, and that's what he does all day long. Let's keep talking about Greg. He's been playing. What is the 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 StarCraft one? Have you played that at all, Jeff? The oh Starbo. Yeah. What, first of all, what is Starbo? Where did that name come from, and why <laughs> does it signify StarCraft one and StarCraft two? I think the bow part is in reference to like Brood War, uh, and then obviously Star is what unifies both of them. Or maybe it's I don't know. That's that's my Weird. take on it. But Weird. Starbo is a UMS, which is now for those of you that don't may not know this uh, is free to play. Yep. In the StarCraft II uh, arcade, um, and it's you know a lot of people enjoy it more than StarCraft II, or uh, more than Brood War, or as good as Brood War, or as good as StarCraft II. It's it's a really great UMS game, um, but it's a combination of units. It's it's a mashup is one of the best terms used for that um, between StarCraft II units and Brood War, and then they even knock down some of the uh, like. Uh, there's no I believe there's no auto casting at least for a few things like Defiler Consume and stuff like that. Um, they reverted back on a few Brood War rules, so Storm does 125 damage versus 75, which is huh. alarmingly more powerful, as you yeah, can sure. probably imagine. <laughs> Interesting. Well, yeah. speaking of what you've been up to, Jeff, I saw some uh, some pictures from you on Twitter last night of, I think it was your army, or was it not yeah. your army last night? What is that giant winged thing? <laughs> is that the thing that, you're always telling me about? 
No, the the super giant thing has not been painted yet, but I did get to hold its unassembled pieces yesterday, which is I'm I'm geeking out about like these models. Like what you're probably referring to is is called a hive tyrant with wings. I think that's or what I call it a fly rant. It had wings uh, or something. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was the big guy in the picture. Um, yeah. My, yeah, all my guys are yellow. Yeah. Um, but they're it's going great. I did my first tournament last weekend. Um, I know we did a show. I think after that though, right? No, we didn't. Uh, no, we didn't do a show last week. We did not. Um, yeah, so the tournament was fantastic. I actually feel like a really old man because uh, leaning over these tables, I threw out my back when I came home <laughs> from leaning over tables. So I'm like, I'm like hobbling around the house like my war hammer injury, which is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous to say. Uh, but today I'm I'm completely healthy. But it's super fun. It's uh, I tweeted that it was a lot like um, it was very reminiscent of debate tournaments that I used to do in the past, just because there's nobody that half ass war hammers. You know, like it. it it takes way too much money, it takes way too much time, and there's way too much information on it to even play the damn game. Yeah. So if you do Warhammer, you really care about it, and you're really excited about it. So it was a tournament of people that are like-minded in that. Very competitive, very fun. Uh, I did pretty well. Didn't win or anything like that, but I was you know near the top. Um, learned a lot, and that's been my... I, I call it my golf. Like I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not retired from, from gaming or anything like that, obviously, but... I do have more free time since I'm not practicing 10 hours a day or close to it. Um, so I spend a lot of that time with other endeavors, and one of those is Warhammer, and I'm really enjoying it. Cool. When, when do you... I know you played in... How many... You've played in one tournament? Or is it more yeah, than that? Yeah, just one. When, so when's your next one? Uh, I leave you know? for Las Vegas uh, Thursday after the Super Bowl, and that is the big, big tournament. The, the team that I'm on, Frontline Gaming slash uh, Team Zero Comp, uh, they're putting on that tournament, so that's their big baby that they've been working on for months. Wow, it's gonna be a lot nice. of fun. Like, it, it's one of those things. It, it's also really cool because in Warhammer, there's a huge drinking culture because it's a bunch of older, middle-aged men, basically. <laughs> you know, and, and a lot of them are former military. Because oh, that's great. This is like a cool continuation of that. So Good company. Oh yeah, it, it, it really interesting people. Lots of great stories. But every tournament, I guess, uh, there's a lot of sunglasses being worn. There's a lot of, uh, you know, like, turn down the lights and, look, you know, like, people are very hungover the whole time. So it's going to be really fun that way. And then uh, it's right about that time. It's been about three months or a couple months since I've been to Vegas. So my ego has recouped <laughs> and I think I'm great at poker and I'm going to go win a million dollars. Probably not. Awesome. What is there, speaking of the Super Bowl, is there like a Super Bowl of Warhammer 40K? Is there like a, a world oh, yeah. championship? Where yeah, is that, well, where's that held? Is that somewhere in England? Or? Uh, no, it, it it travels around Europe. It's called the ETC. Uh, it's the most famous Warhammer tournament. <clears throat> it's actually funny. Uh, Europeans, unsurprised. I mean, this is so. I don't. Someone's got to write a book. Uh, this time, the Koreans aren't the best at Warhammer. Um, but well, do the Koreans play Warhammer? Because if not, then they're probably so. still the best at Warhammer. Yeah, they probably. Yeah, probably. Point. There's probably like this one Korean who's yeah. really good. Uh, the best at Warhammer, though, is generally considered uh, Europeans, specifically like Polish and Germans. They're fantastic at the game. Hmm. Uh, so the ETC is over there. Uh, it's really cool. They they take it to a next level. Like you know how there's like soccer clubs and stuff like that. There's actually Warhammer clubs where wow people play it you know, very, very competitively, very seriously. And, and it's just like any other game where there's forums optimizing the best builds and talking about how to abuse rules and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty cool. And what I like about it, too, is it's very StarCraft-esque in the sense that it's been around for about 30 years. So there's people in all walks of their life where, like, their dad played before them and now they're playing or they played in college, but now they're a, you know, a businessman or woman who can come back to the game. So right. it's it's very cool that way. Cool. I, I think a lot of people are probably interested in playing now, but let's yeah. remind them, how much does it cost for the stuff that you've gotten? <laughs> well, okay. It's so pretty expensive, it's, is it's it not? It's pretty funny. There's different ways to do Warhammer, but because the cost is so prohibitive, like there's a lot of people, uh, customization is really welcome. So you can hop on eBay, buy someone's old army or models uh, or Chinese knockoffs, which I, you know, I would never condone that. Uh, but there are cheaper ways of doing the game, and then it just takes more arts and crafts skills, which I don't have at all. Mm. Uh, or there's the the esports caster money way, which is what I did, which is like I like all those things. I'll buy them for a couple thousand dollars, and then I'll pay someone a couple thousand more dollars to paint all my models. And I'm I'm frowned upon by a lot of people because they're like that's that's part of the culture. You're supposed to enjoy the the assembly and the painting. And I'm like, look, if I painted my army, it'd look like a five year old like got a hold of his <laughs> dad's paints and went to town on his favorite models. I don't want to do that. So my models look gorgeous. I didn't do it, but I'm I'm okay with that. 
That's awesome. That's I would love to see you just paint. You should just have one model in your army that you've painted. To, tell, to show? Just yeah. to be like, guys, I tried. <laughs> and you, you, you just hold it up and they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. We get it. I, I probably should do that. It'll be the, the, the poor example model. Yeah, just spend like this 10 bucks on one or something. Really, Something really minor, you know. Neil, what have you been up to? I uh, just finished Dicing with Death about an hour ago. Or D&D. Um, a lot of D&D. &D. Yeah. Uh, some crazy shit went down. I don't want to spoil it for those of you who might be watching it, but it's an episode worth watching. It's pretty sweet. Eh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He said passively aggressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You gotta go crazy with your advertisement. You're like, it's a show worth watching. Come on, what is that like? It was an episode where a good episode. I don't want to oversell it because oh. you know you don't want to bring the expectations this high, and then they show up and it's like, oh, it was only like this. You know, I mean, you know what that's like. You, Neil, you know that. Issue, I gotta Anna. give you my EG training, man. You go balls to the wall with it. Everything's the greatest thing you've ever done, and when true. people are disappointed, you apologize and get over it. <laughs> that's very true. Oh, uh, fair enough. You didn't even say like where they can go watch it. You got to get better at this. You can, I know. Well, you can I figured episode. being around me and Jeff for so long, you would like understand how this all goes. <laughs> You'd think. When Twitch gets their shit together and we can finally upload videos back to YouTube, it will be on YouTube.com slash Koibu Zero. That worked but in the for me meantime, like two days ago, I, know, I thought. But... Slash Koibu. Oh. If, you, okay. if you're so inclined. You know, no big deal, guys. No pressure. You don't have to watch it. It's kind of okay. There you know, you there you go. Anything else? And, what are you uh, doing? A new show on Mondays, uh, the weekly reroll, just kind of recapping all the the six big D and D shows that happen online. And by the six big D and D shows, I mean the things that JP and I do. <laughs> hey. I mean, yeah, okay, I like that. That's a little EG ish. I, I, I feel it. There you go. We're getting better. Yeah. Getting, right. better. So, getting better. Already. Probably like half hour to an hour show. Was we'll quickly cover everything that happened that week. Hey. In World Play Solemn, Jeff got his arm cut off, and this happened. No, that was Alice. <laughs> well, no, no I'm doing it tomorrow, so oh. the recap this week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be, we're gonna become like the, uh, what was it, in Dragon Ball Z, where they fuse. We're just gonna cut your arm off, and then we'll put our nubs together, and we'll do a little dance, and then we'll fuse into oh, one person. God. And his name will actually be Vincent Longborn. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's how it goes. This is the new show you're doing, Neil. Is that what you said? Yeah, it's a new thing. Yeah, uh, Mondays at noon Pacific time because West Coast is best coast. Over at? Over at twitch.tv slash koibu. There we go. We're getting better. They're getting better at it. Dot com slash koibu. Exactly, exactly. We'll, uh, we'll do all the shout outs and stuff at the end if you guys missed it. Jen, what have you been up yeah. to? Well, I've been playing some Dota as well. I'm working my way to be able to play ranked. And we launched MissClicks.com, well, pre-launched. We, like, announced MissClicks.com, which is going to be, like, basically a community website. And I don't want to spoil it too much because we haven't said much yet, but we're looking for some writers who want to write about esports and stuff like that, game, geek and gaming culture, uh, mostly about what girls do, but guys are very welcome to contribute and be part of the community. So uh, go check it out if you want to see if you want to write on subtopics. It's www.missclicks.com. And yeah, we're looking for writers. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be a good playground for me to test my community building strategies. Awesome. Cool. Uh, you spell misclicks differently than... Yeah. M-I-S-S-C-L-I-K-S. -S -S. Okay. It's like the Mississippi of misclicking. I guess the best way to... That's not it's a good way to fun. describe that at all. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, so Daisy, Warhammer, a lot of D&D, &D, and Dota 2 and a new website. We're all wrapped up. We'll see you next week. This has been the weekly <laughs> update of the role. So, Neil, I got to ask before we actually jump into the show, are you going to have a, a weekly segment on... What is the show called? The weekly re-roll. On the weekly re-roll where it's just... Is it just a show about what character I'm making for the next episode? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we're, that's how it's going to cover the solemn part. Yeah. Every week it's going to, okay, so JP's character, you know, got his leg chopped off, got yeah. an arm chopped off, was it's... driven insane. He really just didn't like this one. <laughs> um, it's this funny, too, because in, uh, in R&D, my character has uh, actually almost died twice, I think. So. Really? Yeah. It's good. You, you, you got a style, man. 
I do. It's very reckless. <laughs> I just don't care because I enjoy yep. making characters. That's a legit style. It's fun <laughs> to play. Anyways, uh, that's all I got, Neil. You can uh, you can take over now, and uh, we can play some some D and D. Excellent. Can I get two charisma checks from everybody in the party? Interesting. Done. Yeah. Um, Done. Real quick, can we talk about how much XP we got last time? I think I might have leveled up. Yeah, you said and you I did would level, level up, up Neil. But... Or you did yes. level up, Ryan. I did say 142. Okay, so and let I me. Say... Add, I, I think I need to level up here. I you think did. I need to level up as well. Can I take a level up as well? or? <laughs> uh, if your character. Did 842 experience get you to the next level? We got 645 no. for the first one. Do you have my experience, so, Neil? Because it's not it saying. It should be on your character sheet. I know I I updated it, but I'm 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 at 4,645 out of 6,000. So we should all, we should all have. I'm like really five, far off. Okay, here's how much we should all have: 5,487. Correct. Really? Total. Yes. 5,487. Okay. And it says my next level is at 5,000, which means I level. Which Why am I at 6,000? Your next level's at 6,000 because you're a different class. Yeah. Mm. So, Neil, Chris what... Check is D20 plus 13, right? Or your, your charisma, rather. Yes. yes. Your charisma, yeah. Wow, I just fucking created that, too. So, uh, your next level is twice what your previous one was. So, if it was 5,000, no, yeah. 10,000. Okay. Yeah. Keep your eye on Neil at the... Yeah. 32 roll at the first one. With Damn the, it. 32. If you can imagine that amount of charisma that came out of me at that moment in time. Right. Did you roll, Ryan? Uh, no, sorry. I was updating this. Um, roll d20 plus charisma is... 13. 13, got it. 25. And then, and then another one. Another one? Okay. My God. 30. Nice. Okay, cool. So in the meantime, uh, Largo, you need to roll HP, which is going to be a D6 for you. You're a thief, right? Yes. You don't, And your constitution is not 15 or higher. His is 13. Correct. So. Right. So give me a D6 for HP. Five. Yes. Nice, nice. roll. Nice. Add that okay. to your max HP. All right, so your my HP... max HP is now 17. Yeah, I need to change right. that. Um, and let's see what level you are now He's level four level four level four okay so you get a new bonus to hit at odd levels so no bonus to hit at this level um you do get 30 points worth of thief skills to add into your proficiencies um no okay. more than 15 to any given one so you can just add those right now okay uh, and i trust you to do it honestly sure and anything else? I'm checking the last. Do your saving throws go up as a rogue? No, they go up at level five. Okay. Um, so no bonus to hit. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that should be... So the HP should be. and the points. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put them into... Uh, can you remind me how pickpocketing works again? Like it. You make a pickpocket check when you're near someone. And right. if you roll... Your percentage, or lower, or you know, do 100 plus your percentage and roll 100 or higher. Right. Uh, you succeed and pick something, and I tell you what's in the pockets. And if you, and there, there's a chance their level times three that mm -hmm. they will notice you. So if they're a third level character, they have a nine percent chance to to notice that you pickpocket them. If they're a okay. tenth level character, they have a 30 percent chance. So even if I have a hundred, I can't be guaranteed to get it right oh uh, you right? cannot your stats can't go beyond 95 for a few oh. stats okay well and even if they notice you getting it you can pickpocket and still have them detect you so the two are not pocket mutually. is now maxed at 95 all right and um we're putting uh move silently is now at 70 just so you know yeah i'm keeping track over here okay All right, so uh, you guys made your charisma checks. I'm going to paste to you um, in private chats the things that you have heard while you, because you've been hanging out in this town for a couple of days. So I'm going to uh, copy and paste some rumors to you guys. JP, you were the only one who did not 
succeed on both of your checks, so you only get one rumor. Everyone else gets two. Well, I would assume that I was. Is that in. JP Alice? <laughs> JP McAlice. I would assume that I've just been staying in bed the entire time. So, am I like talking to a ghost, or how do I hear this shit? Through a wall. Uh, well, you didn't hear shit. Talk to the healer. The I don't know. At some point, someone comes in and brings you food. You get to chat with them for a little bit. Okay. Also, Tell how many days of, of all rest have I had? A full rest? You said I've a been couple. healing Alice, by the way. Well, we haven't. No time has passed since we ended our session. Oh, okay. Last time. We we're still well, right where we had left off. You just said you've okay. heard a couple of things around town. Well, the past this happened couple of in days. the last because okay, you guys okay, okay. where we ended last time. You had spent a couple days waiting. Okay. So this is like recap. I'm just I, I'm just being a uh, pain in the ass about it because I have 30 days till I can get my full HP. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a lot of help with that. <laughs> so pasted to you and you <coughs> and you. And so these are just things that you've heard around. Um, you can share them with each other if you want. You don't have to. They're not guaranteed to be the absolute truth. They're not guaranteed to be filthy lies. These are what you've heard from people in town. Take it as you will. Okay. okay. Uh, that said, let's hop into where we left off last. Interesting. Uh, you guys are sitting in this bar. I'm still I believe in bed. that's how we ended. Yeah, the three of them, to, like, I think where we last left off is Jeff's character almost started a fight with the orcs, but then he backed down at the last second. And, they, and then Ryan pickpocketed the guy in the blue noble the clothes guy, or yeah. something like that yeah. at the, the table. Then they all sat down. I think that's right where we left off. And I was yep. still in the room the entire time. Yep. All right. Kind of sit down, still fuming about what happened outside. And I say to the group, uh, we need to get Alice patched up and we need to get out of the town. We can't can't be around a large number of people. They're afraid, and when people are afraid, they'll turn in people, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, I agree. Good. Okay. This was a <laughs> great conversation. <laughs> I think we need to get moving, guys. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take it easy tonight. Um, I'm gonna check in on Alice. She just had that surgery, or no? Is she having that surgery tomorrow? Or She's what? already had her. I've already arm had my arm off. cut off. Yeah. Well, if I got more Alice. time, if I got more time, you'll. I'd try to craft some more potions. Was it time for something else? Okay. We have uh, time. It will take you another two days to craft that. Oh, so I don't have time if we're moving on. That You okay. tell me when you want to start making something. Okay. But now that I have the pot, I'm going to be able to do it in the wild, right? Pot does make you do it in the wild, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, as long as you can like sit and cook. It's not the sort of thing that you just do one night. It, it takes a while. Okay, yeah. Like, so if you, if you, like you guys sat pops, in a school pops. camp for a couple days, then you could do yeah. it. Okay, yeah. cool. Did you should, add the pot to your weight? Yeah. Okay. We should all decide where we're going to head once we get out of here. Yeah. I mean, should we keep going in a straight line or should we try to, like, change directions a bit? Because if people are talking, they're going to know we're, like, doing straight lines, right? Uh, well, remember, the orcs that we encountered did not say that they... They did not reveal that they have any information at all. They're just on patrol. Well, That's true. <laughs> I need to let you guys know something that I, I've learned since we've been waiting for for Alice. And okay. I think this is very important uh, in terms of where we're going to be going. Um, our main objective is to keep this child safe and, and the rest of us safe, of course. Um, and I've heard a couple of different things. One is that uh, if we go to the other side of the Highvale Mountains, there's nothing. There's no orcs. There's no settlements. There's no anything. As far as I know, there there will be nothing uh, in control of uh, controlled by the Verasi army. So it's uh, one of their limits, you think? R right. I mean, they they haven't spread that far yet. There's, mm -hmm. I guess, nobody has settled it. Um, another thing, another option, is that um, there are orcs to the east. Um, these are the Redfoot clan orcs. Um, or they're they're different than the Redfoot clan orcs. They they uh, seem to be good orcs, or those that uh, defend honor instead of the ones that we're used to. 
Mm. Uh, and so we could think about heading that way as well. We definitely need to find a way to get out of harm's way. Like, the mountain out pathway of this would be grassy. treacherous. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I I think going east sounds like a really good we could potentially find some allies out that way. Sure. Well sounds good to me, guys. I mean Let's plan on going east, but uh, confer tomorrow. Just rest up, make sure and, you know, lick your wounds and get healed up so we can be ready for the journey. Okay, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds good to me. That's how it goes, Jeff. If I'm not around, you just got to talk to yourself, apparently. <laughs> the well, while um, well, everybody's resting here. and chilling, Next I'm week, just two guys to... role play and everyone watches. <laughs> Well, no, 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 Jeff, that's actually just called Dicing with Death. You should tune yeah. in on Sundays. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Over at twitch.tv slash Kleboo. Hey, Dicing with Death is great. <laughs> Very good at talking to myself. Uh, okay, so I'm going to assume that everyone kind of nods their heads and finishes their yeah. drink. And, uh, I'm going to make my way to Alice's room, where she is. Okay. Oh, no. No. <laughs> He's got a broken right. arm fetish. You get to Alice's room. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to close the point. door super gently and come over next to Alice and lean in and be like, Hey, Alice, you're still asleep, I'm sure, but I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you and it's going to be okay. You big lug and uh, you're, you're a sweet gal and I really appreciate it. How much work you put into protecting this baby, and yep. then I'm going to tuck her in very okay. gently. Never mind. And then give the most gentle of kisses you've ever seen or heard in your life on the brow of her head. Let me know if it wakes me up, Neil. Does not wake you up. Okay. Just rolled for that. And then I'm going to tiptoe out of the room, and just before I close the door, I'm going to look into the room at Alice and sigh. Kind of sad, uh, but lovingly at the same time. And then I'm going to gently close the door behind me. Okay. And then I'll make my way to Carlo's room, but, you know, we can go to the other people first. All right. Rest of the party? Um, uh, I'll, I'll talk some to Ryan. What's your name? Damn it. I hate when names Largo. change. Largo. Largo. You can just I call like... me Bregor for every character. <laughs> I yeah. Can. You can I'd just like... keep calling me Bregor. <laughs> Bregor. <laughs> Jackery doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what I heard? I heard that there's a there was a wiz a wizard a few a few days ago walking down in the street like nothing like he didn't give a shit. Like people saw him walking, he just didn't care. Give a shit about what? About people knowing he was a wizard. People get burned for that. No, boiled, boiled. I heard getting I, I hear getting boiled or steamed alive is very very painful. I heard that too, man. <laughs> heard that this week. You hear a whisper. You're not really sure where it comes from, and it says, "Try losing your arm, <laughs> you assholes." <laughs> I say, uh, "Give me one second, Neil." I look around the bar. Are there any other rich or wealthy looking people? <laughs> not right now. the The only two wealthy patrons have left. Or wealth people who were flaunting their wealth. There may be billionaires sitting in the bar beside you, but they all look right. like Steve Jobs, so you wouldn't know. If I were if I were to do something like pickpocket the cash register, is that a thing? Uh, you, you need a yes. for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's more of like an open locks check because the mm. cash register is really just a box with a lock on it. Okay. Or a bag of money just sitting there, depending on the type of establishment. Um. So, you know, I think that person sounds really interesting. Maybe we can see if they're still in town. Yeah, we could ask around to try to find that guy. I mean, I don't know. He's, do you think he's a bad guy or a good guy? Why don't you go he's ask the bartender? Yeah, I can ask. I'll come up there Let's... with you. I'll order a drink. All right. So we're going to go up to the bartender. Okay. Uh, bartender's there polishing a mug. Hey, someone told me about the, a wizard apparently being in town. Have you heard about that? Yeah, I heard uh, this wizard scene 
walking down the street the other day. And he didn't get arrested? Nope. Well, I mean, who's going to go mess with the wizard? Good point. Right? No orcs in town to stop him. Just waltzed on down the street. Wearing red and robes, too. Seriously. Red. Yeah, wasn't even one of her asses. Huh. Did he do business with anyone? Did he talk to anyone? He shrugs. I don't know. I'm, this is just what I've heard from people coming in. Mm. He's not from here then, right? Uh, not, not as far as I know. Mm. Kind of silly to be seen around in your hometown like that. True. Well, that's interesting. Thanks. Okay. I'll get a beer. Please. He brings you a beer. I'll be two copper. I hand him two copper and an extra copper, and I say, thanks, man. Remove three copper from your character sheet. Okay. Uh, I say quietly to Jockery, I say, um, I mean, you're the person that I know who is most connected to magic. Um, I give him a look that says, like, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm saying this quietly. Oh, okay. Um, if you you want to follow up on this, I will. I'd be happy to go with you. Um, who do you think we should ask, though? I'm, I mean, I, I feel like if you've been walking through town, then anybody would know. Yeah, we, we can ask around for that. I heard another rumor, man. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, two, I did. Two rumors, you say. I, yeah, I heard it's a crazy number, Exactly right? two rumors as well, since we've been waiting. <laughs> what is the second rumor you've heard? I heard that hobgoblins and Transgar stop supplies and trade from coming up this way over here. <laughs> Nobody sees wow. a, mer a merchant from that far, farther than that in a few months. This role playing is amazing. <laughs> I know. I feel so aged in depth. I, I can't read English for shit. It's like I'm there. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot too. That's Crazy a weird rumors. rumor. Crazy yeah. rumors. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to. It's another good question. <laughs> Why would they stop supplies from coming over here? You, you know, think we I, should ask? Uh, you know, the wizard, I'll be honest, the wizard rumor intrigued me a lot more than that yeah. one did. All um, right. But like I said, if you want to follow up on the wizard, I'd be happy to go with you. All right, let, let's follow up on the wizard. I'm down. Pretty curious. Maybe he could be an ally. Okay. Bartender, do you have any idea where this guy stays, if he's still in town? Yeah, I don't even know who it is. I... This is just what I've heard from people coming in telling me. I spend a lot of time indoors. Is there anybody maybe in the bar right now that would would know? Leans over, looks about, shrugs. I don't know. You have to ask them. I guess we can ask people. Okay. Go ahead, I'll come with. Okay. So. So who do you ask? Who is there in the bar? Are you looking at roll 20? Yeah. That's who's in the bar. Damn. That's a lot of people in the bar. Yeah. Oh. How about this table that I'm pinging? Okay. Uh -huh. Let's just go to the table. All right. The two of you head over to that table. I'm going to let you sit down. I'm going to stand. Okay. I'm Position somewhat behind this gentleman. <laughs> hey. Guys. How did, how's it going? Uh, hi. You guys from around here? Yeah. Yeah, Where are you from? Yeah, from? Yeah, from over there. Just point. <laughs> Where's a, that? Uh, town over. Servas? There was, uh, there was a stuff. lot of... Uh, Servas. And, uh, yeah, I've been moving around a bit, but I heard that some people saw a wizard walking around. Have you heard anything about this? Uh, two of the guys kind of shrug and shake their heads. The third guy goes, yeah. 
I heard my friend Frank said he saw the guy walking down the street yesterday. Well, day Damn. before. Damn, is he around? Frank? Yeah. I'm sure he's somewhere. The wizard. <laughs> he looks I back at you over his shoulder. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I didn't talk to the wizard. I think I've I never. Have... I haven't met the wizard. I'm pretty curious. I I just don't understand how he would walk freely like that with no trouble. Well, not for long he won't. I mean, if there's no orcs around town, who's going to stop him, right? But, yeah. I mean, if you guys are new in town, you heard about it, I'm sure they'll hear about it. And Most likely. I'm sure they'll track him down and haul his ass back to Valesburg, dip him in a pot of boiling water. It's nighttime, right, Neil? Uh, it's afternoon. Oh. Yeah, because that's when the orcs barged in and did all that stuff, I believe. Maybe we can check somewhere else. Yeah. Why, sure. What's the business with this wizard? Mostly curiosity. Well, you know what they say about the cat, right? There's more than one way to skin them. <laughs> well, I was thinking about the other thing they say about cats. Ah, uh, the other thing, yes. Yeah. The, the curiosity, curiosity thing. I got you. Mm. I'm always thinking about skinning things, sorry. Careful out there. Wizards are troublemakers. You go looking for one, you might find yourself in a orcish jail cell or, or worse, hauled back to Valesburg under suspicions of being a spellcaster. Yeah. Orcs don't really care about what's right and wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I'll I'll stay away then. You're right. You're right, man. <laughs> Awkward silence ensues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for talking to us. They kind of give you a nod. Yeah. I get back up. I grab my beer. <laughs> I pickpocket this one. <laughs> give me a pickpocket percentage. So D100 and you want to roll 30. 95 or lower. You succeed uh, successfully pick his pockets. Excellent. You have gained... Two silver. Worth. All right. As we go back, I, I say to Largo, I mean, if we didn't have the baby, we could have tried to stop, like, let's say we pretend they're going to grab the wizard. We could have tried to be between here and Valesburg to intercept them coming back with him. Yeah, we, we probably don't have time for that. But um, yeah, maybe in the coming days in town, we can see if we see him around. It's obvious that... He walks around conspicuously, so. Yeah. I guess I'm going to go to bed now. Yeah. Uh, I think it's I only like 2 p.m. Oh, really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> afternoon sometime. My afternoon nap for 20 minutes. I'll be back. Victorian. Okay. Yes. Doing? I'm going for I, a nap. Uh, <laughs> open. Clara is her name, right? Clara. Uh, no. Clara. No, Carla. 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 Yeah. 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 I messed this up. It's my fault. Uh, I, open, I open Carla's door gently and I lean in and say, Knock, knock. Can I come in? Come on in. I'm just feeding the baby. She has a boob out. Fantastic. That was exactly what I was hoping for. And I walk in and say, Yeah, I just want to check on you. I know there's been a lot of, uh, been a lot of violence, a lot of scary stuff going on. So how are you doing? Oh, it's nice that I've actually had a chance to rest now. While well, hiking mm -hmm. through the, the forest. The hips yeah. were not even all all rightly aligned. Mm, girl, your hips, yeah. They have a tough time. I understand. Oh, I mean, giving birth, knocking out a kid, and then walking through the forest for a couple of days. Well, let's not get gross, but yeah, that'd be tough. Um, <laughs> just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, they did drag out a baby and had it had its head cut off and its arm. I saw the arm. I, I assume the head as well. So, oh my uh, god! Yeah, it was terrible. It was a little baby. Uh, it was uh, yeah. It was really bad. And the reason it happened is a woman turned in the mother and the and the child to the orcs. So the reason I'm telling you this is you got to do your absolute best to keep that baby hidden. 
uh, and we're going to try to get out of this town tomorrow because we figure the more people are around, the more dangerous it is. Um, just because everyone's so afraid and there's so much violence. So tomorrow. Yes. Pro well, is that you know? Do you need another day or so? No. Where are we headed? Uh, we're talking about. We might be going east. Apparently, there's some friendly orcs that we can meet up with. She gives you a suspicious look. Friendly orcs? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's just the rumor that's going around. We'll obviously look more into it. We're not set on anything, but I assure you that you and your baby's safety is the top priority. So, if they're not friendly, we'll dismember the ever living shit out of them and then get out of there. She gives you a smile at that. Okay, so if you need anything, uh, I'm going to go and go to sleep. Um, you just uh, rest it up, rest it up, and uh, we'll be probably sitting, uh, we'll be out tomorrow. I will be going tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Good night. At 2 p.m. Afternoon. It's broad time. You guys don't have watches. Right. All right. So. I wear a sundial on my lower back, mm -hmm. but yeah. Right. Um. So the three of you are hanging out now, I guess. Unless you went to bed, Jock. I go to sleep. You go to sleep. Yeah. I took a okay. 20 minute nap. You take a 20 minute nap. Largo? Anything else you guys want to do? Should we just skip to the next day? I guess we can I've, skip. I have nothing I want to do. Okay. Next day. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, Neil, it's time for that 30 day check. You said last session that if I rest <laughs> for the entire day, I can count off three days, correct? Yes, you can count off three days because right. you have a proficient healer and herbalist <laughs> with you who I assume are, are taking good care of you. Yeah, I'm taking care of Alice. There you go. They're 27. I'll keep you are guys you, updated. Uh, are you feeling better, <laughs> Alice? Uh, I, I just kind of... I, I just talk with my eyes like, help me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just like in bed. Just staring at you with this like intense eye staring at you as you like apply stuff to to my to the wound. I give her a look that says, I'm helping you. <laughs> okay. I just kinda like either pass out from exhaustion or just pass out by normal means. The thirty days is what's is it half movement or is it no movement for thirty days? Uh I don't know if you told me if it was no movement. I think it was half movement to begin half with. Half movement? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think know it's if we movement. made any altered, uh, like if we altered that at all when I... No, no, no. I think half is correct. Okay. And I'm at 24 of 32 HP till the 30 days is up. Now 27. Yeah. And if I kept the arm on, it would have been like 16 of 32. Yeah. No. You're better for without it now. Yeah. Because you would okay. have been dead. Maybe. Okay. Uh, what do you guys do? We wake up. Wake up. Right. Yep. Have breakfast. Uh, have some yep. breakfast, I suppose. And then at the table, I'm like, uh, well, uh, what's the condition of Alice? I only saw her last night, and the, the poor girl slept through the, slept through the whole meeting, the whole night. Oh. Neil, would I have anything to say about that? Like, from healing her and stuff? Like, am I... Can I give... You know, what the, you know what Jen knows. Oh. Well, she seems pretty down, but... I guess we can just ask her if she wants to move along with us. Okay, we can do that. She yeah. feels ready for that. But I, I really think we should move on, guys, because uh, with all these... Uh, wizard's rumor going around town if an orc comes by and someone rats it out there's probably going to be a lot of orcs around here mm, okay. Jackie, I, don't, I don't think you've told them about the yeah I didn't the, the, I heard stuff about the ru a wizard roaming around the city a wizard you said red wizards blatantly roaming around not caring mm, not even Vorasi because Vorasi's black right I don't know if you know that because you're not well versed. I did not know magic. his ethnicity. Yeah. What was uh? Okay. Yeah. So I'm pretty curious about that guy, but we don't really have time to deal with it. You're curious about guys. About wizards. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
just uh, you know, we we left in such a hurry. I haven't gotten to know you very well yet, so I I didn't. Sure. <laughs> well, if you if you have any questions, I mean, I can answer them. All right. I am a guy. Yeah, it's all good, man. I got it's this. It's all good, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. We should get out of here pretty soon. Um, why don't you check in on Alice? and see yep. how she feels about that and I will go uh, take a look at Carla again. I mean, go visit Carla again and okay. uh, make sure she's fit for travel. Okay. Sounds good. So I go get Alice. Yeah. Knock, knock. Come in. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. So I get in. So Alice, I'm like we're hunched thinking over about... on bed. I'm, I'm sitting up at this point. Are you thinking about moving on from the city? Do you feel ready to move on? Are you okay? Do you feel better? Um, you mean... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. So you enter in here. So I'm like looking over to the right where my arm once was, which is opposite the way that you come into the room, and I'm just like staring at it, and I don't answer you. I nice. mean, do you want to follow us? Uh, after like another 10 or so seconds at this I like look up at you and I'm just like when 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 do we leave we'd leave just after breakfast if you want to come grab a bite there's still some fresh pastries on the table there's no pastries no pastries what is are there are there really pastries eggs <laughs> 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 what is it Neil what do people eat eggs Eggs uh, and potatoes. Okay, there's eggs and potatoes. They're really good. Oh, you got me excited in my <laughs> lost an arm, you asshole. <laughs> like really good bread. Really good bread. <laughs> Is there really pastries? <laughs> no. <laughs> but we eat every single day, but <laughs> I'm just like that All right, I'll I'll be out in a minute. Okay. You can you can leave now. I'll let you. You can go. I don't need any more help. Okay. Okay. See you. See you at the table, Alice. That fucking voice. Shut the door. I shut the door. <laughs> all right. I I just like get all my stuff together, Neil, and and make do with with my left arm. Okay. So it takes a little bit longer than usual. It takes a little longer. And then I go outside, and uh, right. sit down next to Largo, but we can deal with Victorian for now if you want. I just knock on the door again. Uh, Carlos? Yes. Yep. Uh, it's Victorian. Yeah. May, may I come in? Yeah. All right. I come in. How's uh, it going? It's good. It's good. Uh, it looks like the plan will be to get on the road pretty quickly here. You uh, you ready to go? We got some breakfast and then we're planning on leaving. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys could just bring some breakfast in here so I don't have to leave the baby yes. alone, that'd be great. And uh, then we can head out. All right. I'll bring it right in, and then we'll, we'll leave. All right. Right back. And I just go and do that, Neil. I'm just going to okay. go grab a plate and bring it in there. <laughs> Neil, okay. is there any type of food that can like last for a while that we can buy in towns? Like Dried fruit. Yeah. Jerky. Uh, bread. Bear cheese. Jerky. Did hey uh that's a good question Neil uh Ryan did 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 ferret jerky catch on did that become a thing now that we're in the future actually <laughs> That is true. You should roll for this. Could have become right. like a, an old like traveler thing. Um on a we can just roll a d100. I think Jen should say, be the one to roll it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'm done to roll it. Roll a d100 don't yet though and I'm going to say on a a 93 or higher ferret jerky is a thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Alright, so Jackie fucking loves ferret jerky. <laughs> Who doesn't? You rolled a 99. Ferret jerky's <laughs> caught on. It's really, you know what? There's a taste to it that no one else had noticed before. <clears throat> Ferrets all over the place, too, man. They're easy to catch. Yeah, they breed like fucking rabbits. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy some ferret jerky. Yeah, there's tons of ferret jerky everywhere. Awesome. <laughs> How much do I deduce for that meal? 
Uh, how much for a turkey are you buying? For snacks for like a week. Snacks for a week? Yeah, so you're talking like a Costco-sized bag of fair jerky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, subtract four silver for that. All right. It's and cheap it too. Is... Holy shit. It's got <clears throat> on. A lot of ferrets, man. Yeah. Uh, and it weighs two pounds. Okay. I'll buy that as well. Neil. Okay. <clears throat> so two Neil? silver, you said. If oh, I were to steal things from pounds? the store. From the store. If I were to steal things, is that the same as a pickpocket check? It depends on the manner in which you steal them. Like if I try to pocket some ferret jerky. From where? Like if you're taking it out of someone else's pocket and putting it into yours, that's fine. No, like from the if... shelf. Uh, just in general, I want to know. I'm not saying. I mean, if there's something on the shelf, anyone can just. But yeah, I, you can do it with the pickpocket roll. Okay. Abigail's actually the one who made them trending. She started the ferret farm where she sells jerky in honor of Azrael. I... There you go. That's how we deal with the, the with that. That's what happened to her. She ended uh, up farming ferrets for their jerky. Yeah. Ferret <laughs> Teaches one ferret how to farm another ferret. Get a wow. Self contained. So Farming colony. Neil, are all three of them out? They're no longer at this this bar when I come out? Or... Um, I don't know. Largo, did you leave? Um, Depends. Were there any rich-looking people at the bar? No. <laughs> Common folk. Yeah, I would have gone with. Okay. You are alone when you exit, Alice. I like. I walk out and my, my... I've got like one arm in the armor and I can't get the rest of it down on my head because I'm lacking the other arm to pull it down on the other side and like all my my gear is just dragging behind me because I can't like get it on my back because I don't have a second arm and I'm I just walk into the middle of the bar and I'm like guys I'm like if I look around is it all still the same patrons or no no different people there's fewer people right now because it's morning uh, <clears throat> there's actually just one person sitting at the bar the bartender looks at you and goes uh Miss, your your friends went out to do something a little while ago. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I, let them know that I'm looking for them. And then I walk out, and like, as I'm walking out, there's just this trail of shit behind me that I've strung <laughs> together with, with rope or whatnot, just making all this noise. It gets caught on a couple stools, and I like go back <laughs> and, and correct it, and then Aww. continue walking back outside. Get out into the street. Well, oh, this makes me sad. What do I see the, in the street? The street is uh, fairly busy right now. It's kind of morning time. Everyone's getting up and doing, going about the town, doing their things. People are headed out to the woods to chop down trees or headed over to do business or whatever the hell people do when they walk around town. Uh, but it's fairly busy. Uh, who, who is like close to me is the second I walk out the bar? Is there a person in front of me or someone that... Like, I want to stop someone that's passing by. What, what do they look like? There is a short man. He's about 5'6", 145 pounds, gray hair, must be about 40 years old, uh, who seems to be walking down the street close to the buildings. Does he have a smile on his face? Yeah. I He's got it. a little kick in his step, too. I uh, I reach out with one arm and I'm like, sir, sir, can you? As opposed to two arms. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like, sir, help. Can you help me? What, 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 what's the matter, miss? I need. This is kind of awkward, but can you push down right here? And I point to like the top of the armor. It's like I can't. I don't think I can reach that. Here, I'll oh, I'll my... get down. And what I... happened to your arm? <sighs> I'm just like, look, can you? Can you just push down right here? And I'm pointing to it. I'm like, I'm kneeling down. Okay. He gives it a good whap, whap, whap. Does the and armor like sit? Yeah. Okay. It, he, he fits it into place. Um, it causes some pain. Okay. So I got, uh, hold on one second. I like reach into my, I'm, I'm looking around for wherever my coin pouch is. And I pull out uh, five silver because I don't want 25 gold and five silver anymore. And I just hand him five silver for the help. Uh, thanks, ma'am. No, no problem. Hey, uh, you haven't seen, uh, 
really short but kind of tall for a size person walking <laughs> around with a... Uh, Is that uh, supposed to be some kind of joke? I'm sorry? The hell? And he walks away in a huff. <laughs> I'm, I just stare at him I'm like, what the fuck did I... <laughs> what did I... <laughs> He's 5'6". <five, six. sighs> <sighs> I just like, keep walking through the town looking for my friends. So if, if if you want to RP that out, we can. But if not, I would just look for them. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. 20 plus 8. Yes. 15. You search around the town for, a couple, for an hour or so. Because it's a small town, but it's not that small. You search around <laughs> for an hour and you don't see them anywhere. All right, I go back to the end and uh, walk past all the, the bar patrons and go back to where I think Carla's staying and, and knock on the door. All right, well, let's see what they did in that hour then. Um, sure. So I don't get this. How did, I thought we were... How did we not get Alice? I thought we were going to go wait for her and... I don't know. Right? You guys went off to go get some ferret jerky and then Alice woke up right as you left and she was confused. Uh... All right. Well, I I don't know if it takes an hour to get fair drink. I just I would go get it and come back. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think. Is there anything else you guys want to do in town before you leave? Mm. No. Nah. Nope. Cool. So when you get back, Alice, they're all there waiting for you. Oh. Okay. Well, I walk in. I'm just like, guys, where? Where'd you go? You got some fair jerky. You want some? Can you feed it to me? I feed her one piece of ferret jerky. I like where this is going. <laughs> just like, I guess it has its perks. <sighs> just gonna let out a big sigh. I'm like, uh. You're kinda right. cute. When, when, are we, when are we leaving? Right now, if everyone's ready. Okay, well, let, let's go. The, the people in this town are quite rude. Really? They were quite nice to me. Well, mostly. Rude, rude people. Where, where are we going, by the way? I whisper to her east. Okay, so someone fetch, uh, fetches Carla, and you guys head out. Where are you? The road goes north and south. So where are you guys going? North, I guess. I are we in Frerbau, or where are we? You are oh. in Nogara. Do we actually oh, no want to follow the road, or can we uh, go, like, off-road east? <clears throat> you can do whatever you want to do. Neil, I have a question Crazy. about uh, my character's knowledge. So, the town of the orcs that I've heard of is called Boren. Would I know about how far away or where Boren was? Yeah, you're a mildly traveled guy. Boren is... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Warren's like 11 or 12 days away from here uh, on foot for a human. Okay. Um, it's You go south to Dimmer and then you go west to Boren. Um, and would I know if the uh, the road to Boren, the, the cities in between, were unfriendly? No more unfriendly than any other city. I mean, they're all unfriendly. All right. Friendly. I, rec I, mean, I recommend this path of travel to the, to the. What? Are we currently in Nogara, by uh, the way? You guys are in Nogara. Okay. All right. Uh, now, why do we think the orcs are friendly? What do you mean? What is this rumor? Well, uh, the rumor that I've heard is that they've been keeping. Um... Sorry, let me recall. Um, they, <laughs> they've been patrolling the streets nightly, keeping bandits and cut purses at bay, which leads me to believe that they are more a, a, of a lawful group of orcs, perhaps, and, you know, aren't looking to... Wait a second. The uh, rumor you have is that these orcs inside of Varasi territory are keeping people safe from criminals, so therefore they must be good. Well, I, I, I suppose I did take that leap. What I heard was that they, they're keeping bandits and cut purses at bay. Wouldn't mm. Boren still be inside of Varasi territory? Yes, absolutely. 
So wouldn't this be a terrible plan? Well, just because it's inside of the territory doesn't mean all people are, are bad there, correct? Uh, our mission from the very beginning was to get the baby out of the territory. Yeah, we should awesome. plan but, on heading out. Like I said... I liked your uh, other rumor better, the, man. Uh, the, other, <laughs> the other rumor that I heard is that on the other side of the High Vale Mountains, there's nothing but open land as far as the eye can see. There's no settlements, there's no orcs, there's, there's no good or bad people there. There's just nothing. Yes. As far as I've heard. So we I can take that, that route as well. Sounds like the better plan for now. Are we in agreement with that? The only problem is getting to the other side of the mountain. I think, Neil, would it be north to go around the mountain? Is there no way to go over it? Uh, you don't know of a way to go over it yourself. Right. That doesn't mean there's not. Uh, you do know that you can go no north around it. Okay. So north and around would be the the quickest way. However, there... Once we get um, much more north than Janstone, the road runs out, and it will just be wilderness. There will be no traveled path. Yeah, I think we'll have to go around the mountain. And, of course, it'll be dangerous up north, but no more or less dangerous than what we're experiencing here. So, Okay. I think we're in open fields if we can get over that mountain, or around that mountain, rather, and uh, get the child and the woman to safety. We can try that. It looks like the next stop would be Well Oak. So we could head there. Going north? Uh, well, it would be Janstone. It'd be, it'd be Janstone. Oh, Jan Janstone, yes. Janstone. Marco, I thought you've traveled before. You and don't... then even before Well Oak is both Valcrest and Tally. Yeah, we could. We'll make a choice. But Janstone, sure. then up. I, I agree. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Someone has fetched Carla. And you guys proceed <laughs> north on the road from Nogara to Janstone. Like I'm uh, just to get his... forgetting about her. <laughs> and it has been a single hour in game. Perhaps we should take a break. Sounds yeah. perfect. Uh, we're playing full four hours, so this is one. We still got three more to go. Hopefully, you guys will join us. Thank you all for joining us here for the first hour. We'll see you in hour number two of Roleplay Solemn coming up right after this. Peace.